Today is Friday, the 1st of March, and our Gospel is from Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 to 43, and verses 45 and 46. Today Jesus is telling us another parable. This parable is about the landowner and his vineyard. The landowner planted the vineyard and then he built a wall to protect it from the animals. He also dug a wine press and built a tower. After he had all of this completed, he leased his property and crops to some of the local farmers. They were responsible for tending the vineyard in his home. And then the owner left and was gone for several months. As the time for harvesting the grapes drew near, the landowner dispatched several of his servants to go and get his share of the crop from his tenants. However, when the servants arrived, the tenants took them, beat one servant, killed another, and then stoned a third. When the landowner received this news, he was outraged and saddened. After a time, he decided to send another retinue of servants to deal with his tenants. However, this time he thought it wise to send twice as many servants. Yet the results were the same. All of these servants also were killed. When the owner received this news, he finally decided to send his own son. Surely they would respect his son. However, when the tenants saw the landowner's son coming, they decided that this was their great opportunity. If they kill the owner's son, then they could seize his inheritance. And that is what they did. As Jesus was telling his listeners this parable, he knew that this scenario would be played out in his own life. He realized that the Pharisees were plotting against him and most likely they were planning on killing him. This parable was a foreshadowing of what was to come. Were the Pharisees taken aback by Jesus' questions? Were they surprised that Jesus confronted them as he did? If we were in Jesus' shoes, would we have the courage and trust to continue on his journey? This gospel makes it clear that Jesus knew that he would be killed, yet he stayed true, he stayed true to his call. He continued to preach and teach. Today may we draw the strength from Jesus to be true to our call, whatever that might be. Jesus will walk with us, guide us and strengthen us. May we walk with Jesus today and every day. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.